All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Effie. It's a, it's like an old school 3D platformer collectathon with puzzles, hack and slash combat, and racing on a surfboard. I mean, shield board. Anyway, I, oh, he's got a cute little daughter. That's usually a good sign. Let me check. Languages, subtitles are on, controls are, I don't know, we'll see. Image. Uh, probably don't want to turn that up at all. I think this game's nice and colorful anyway. So let's just get going. I love this game's art style almost immediately. It's very much like that kind of plasticky, cartoony, I almost discount Disney, but obviously, like, that's not fair to this because Disney throws all of their money into everything. It looks charming. <laughs> come down, come down. Come here. Have a seat. You know what, Effie? I'm going to tell you a story. It is a tale about knights, wicked creatures, hope, redemption, and above all, magic. A long time ago, so long ago that I can barely remember, there was a young man called Ganon, who had been gifted with great strength. One day, a girl knocked on his door asking for help, as her cart had broken down in the nearby forest. Gallant, however, was extremely lazy, so he lied to her and told her there was nothing he could do about it. No, not now. The young girl, however, was a powerful witch, and she cursed Gallant, <laughs> who instantly turned into an old man. You don't know what you've got until it's gone, right? Gallant didn't know what to do, as he had never witnessed magic before. So he decided to visit the master, who lived at the top of the mountain. Perhaps he could undo the spell. <laughs> Much to his disappointment, though, the master was unable to do it. Mm. However, the master also told him that the Elder Protectors, ancient ancestors who watched over kind-hearted souls, possessed the power to break the enchantment. Galland was unsure whether he had a kind heart or not. But what were his options? He traveled relentlessly for days, until he finally reached the temple of the Elder Protectors. There he was. That's a buff old man. When suddenly, the ground trembled beneath his feet. Nature was taking over the very corridor. He had to run for his life! Roots shot up from the very ground itself, and Gallant was forced to take a leap of faith. And he succeeded! He could hardly believe his luck, but now he had to just climb up. He had taken a hit and a tumble, but he survived the fall. This was the beginning of his magical adventure. Well, the subtitles don't match, which is usually a bit of a pet peeve of mine. I like the narrator, though. He's at least got gusto. Oh, what was I playing recently? I was playing Pagan Online, and the narrator on that was decent, but had no inflection. The stones apparently strengthened Gallant. They endowed him with vitality, power, and even wisdom. It was like a taste of youth. Okay, so this is a direct collectathon. Or run faster button. It actually looks like it might just be. I see. Just the longer I'm running, the uh, the faster I run. Makes sense. Instead of like a direct sprint button, I just go for like X amount of time. All right. Well, that's fine. It'd be kind of cool if this game actually made you progressively younger. Ah, shoot. There's more over there. 
know I'd miss some. But yes, absolutely a collectathon game. I'm fine with that. I kind of miss, uh, I kind of miss like old school collectathons. What was it recently? The Hat in Time was pretty good. It was not fun, uh, fan, uh, fond? I was not a big fan of, Time uh, was not on Galen's side. He had to find the Elder Protectors before it was too late. The temple had to be brimming with secrets, left behind by its old constructors. Let's see, I think you missed one back there. Son of a butt. All right, we'll go back. If I can? I'm not sure if I can. Walked right by it, too. Look, sometimes I just... Ow. There's no going back. That's fine. I mean, I don't know. It might not be as much of a collectathon, or who knows. Get out of here, pots. Yeah, time to restart the run. I mean, if it actually matters that much, I would, but... I don't know. I'm not even sold if I'm going to be playing more than one episode. So I've got so many games on my plate. I'm just here to try and play, like, everything that looks relatively good. Oops. We want to go this way. At least Wander is not completionist. Excuse, excuse me. I'm a finishist. Oh. We <laughs> just bash it open. Have you ever heard of lifting, you absolute yeah, Neanderthal? Galen felt much better now. Uh, let's see. Is this a Let's Try stream? Yeah, kind of. I mean, honestly, this is going to be a Let's Try month. To some level of it. So, the thing is, like, I... I was talking about this earlier when I was playing Battletech. Oh! No, I don't actually go any faster. Um... I don't know what it is, if it's the games industry is accelerating, concerningly, or what. Let me know if there's anything down below. I wasn't very thorough about checking that. I don't see anything, so I'm going to assume no, and we'll just keep going. Um, but the the games industry is, has accelerated. Either that or I'm just getting more keys or more there. wear. Those were the statues of the Elder Protectors. Galland had to reach the center of the hall. But... How? Okay, but one way or another, like, I'm getting nearly 20 games a day some days. And admittedly, it's, it tends to be worse on Tuesdays. Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays are, are like the go-to games release days, uh, which always makes my life just a little bit harder uh, on those very specific days. Um, <sighs> Galen felt much better now. But it's putting me in this position that, like, I straight up cannot cover every game that I have, like, a passing interest in. Which is fine. Like, not every game is, is good Our enough. Our hero tread upon a strange tile on the floor. And it activated a mechanism in the door. Not every game is good enough to get a series on my channel at this point. Which is kind of wild. Because, like, I used to be not super picky. And now I'm almost less picky. But I... I I'm willing to try more and quit more faster, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I'm, I'm not... I, I don't know why this is coming up specifically. Because I am actually... I'm liking this so far. Admittedly, it's mostly just run around and grab runestones and stuff. But I really do adore this visual style. That's eh, fine. I guess falling down here is a good thing. Get as many of these as we possibly can. Um... But yeah, so, I don't know. I, my job is, like, kind of twofold. I would like to cover as many games as I possibly can, and I want to cover as many interesting games, especially. You know, I'm, I'm not going to just, like, cover whatever. <sighs> Galen felt much better now. Oh, I see. They're on a timer. It's not that they're wait-timed, or they're not wait-based. It's, uh... Oh. They're not weight-based, it's it's just on the timer. Okay, well that's confusing. Well, maybe not confusing, but still. Charming, though. I that's how I, how I'm gonna describe this game. It's just charming. Not immediately the most complex. But I'm looking forward once we get out into the world and can surf around on our shield, because that looks that looks really fun, and I hope we get we get to do that on this video at the very least. 
Is, that's what sold me on this game. It just it just looks fun. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've been kind of changing my the way like I handle content recently, where it's just like, okay, well, I know I'm not going to be able to cover all these games. Originally, what I was trying to do, and I think this was at the pressuring of some uh, some kind of opinionated people that I probably shouldn't have been listening to, but it was very much one of those where it's like, you need to finish everything that you start. Uh, you know, bar none. And I've realized that that's actually a really, really bad mentality because it sticks me onto a bunch of games that I might not enjoy. So instead, it's like, well, okay. Let's just, uh... Let's just try things, and if I really like it, I keep going. And if I don't, eh, that's okay. Move on. Okay, so we grabbed these, we grabbed all this, and this looks like a bit of a mess. Not that big of a mess, but still. I adore this visual design. Like, it's just... It's... It's like... It reminds me of Rhyme, actually. I don't know how many of you guys saw that game, but that was... That was a really charming and, like, visually just delightful game. Shame the actual gameplay for it was kind of basic and the plot was... Not my kind of game at all. Okay. Grab these. But yeah, it's it's kind of like a weird offshoot of low poly, where it very clearly does actually have like some amount of detail into it and texturing, but it's I would say the natural conclusion of if you took like anything from the GameCube era and then scaled it up in a really nice way. As opposed to like continuously just arms racing to high definition. Which, like, I really prefer this in, like, hand-painted styles to, like, super realism. Because super realism always just ends up looking kind of bleh by the end of it. Huh. I don't remember this being the character's colors. I'll have to pay attention when I'm in the light. For whatever reason, I thought he really was wearing, like, red, red and blue. But I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Man, my mind is elsewhere today. But that's okay. Okay. Anyway, so on the topic of uh, so on the topic of like high definition visuals and stuff, we're gonna get interrupted here. But it always ages super poorly. Whereas like this is a game, ten years from now, okay, yeah, it might look a little bit worse for the wear compared to some other games in the same style, but it's still gonna look good. Finally, he had found the Elder Protectors. At last, he would recover his youth. We have been watching you for some time, Gallant. We know why you are here. You want to recover your lost years. And we could give them back to you. However, we don't know if you have a kind heart. So you will have to prove your worth. A great evil has fallen over the red plains of Oblana. It's Melira, the witch. She was the one who cursed you. Put an end to her evil and return Oblana to its dwellers. In order to do so, you'll need to cleanse the power from the gems of evil. After that, the cities will be free once more. The Elder Protector had been clear. Melira, the Gems of Evil, and all their dark power had to be destroyed. To aid you in your quest, we have created a special shield for you. If you have a pure heart, Runestone will accept you, guide you, and become a part of you. Now go, and enjoy your adventure. Suddenly, everything started trembling again, and the roots reappeared inside the temple. The wicked Malira was attacking the temple. But this time, Galland had a shield to protect him. <laughs> Okay, this is charming. At that moment, Galen couldn't do that. Yeah, 
It's not a complex combat system, but it's fun. Okay, so how do I shield surf? I guess we don't have the ability yet. We also have the powers of extreme vandalism. Screw you old people in your damn temple. You're not gonna give me my youth back, then I'm gonna take your pots. That's what a heroes do, right? That's how this works. Uh, I have no idea which direction these people go. I'm gonna assume that direction with all of the lights. Yeah. Garland realized he would need an extra boost. Would his shield be able to help him? <laughs> That's a lot of faith into a shield. Well, time to jump over a gap. Uh, good luck, shield. Harry made a victory. Harry made it not dying. But yeah, I, I like the uh, I like the shield. There's more pots to smash. I think they just give you health. I, I'm not gonna waste too much time for this. Uh, because. I'm gonna say, not exactly one caveat of trying to cover as many games as, as possible. It doesn't mean that I, I don't want to uh, spend too much time just faffing about for no good reason. I mean, obviously, if, like, you know, there's collectathony bits or people really like it, a la Superland, then it'll go super completionism hell, which means I should probably go back to that at some point. I have. I beat the game, but I haven't got 100% in it, and I should. Pot smashing. It's the way of heroism. I, you know, I'm thinking about it. I, I'm going to be working on D and D assets the next couple nights. Not tonight, Gallant considering how late everything is. Him. Is that urge to destroy pots? Because I'm assuming it's so. Okay. Note to self: those hook you. Okay, I guess I'll go destroy the other ones. Bonk. Oh no, it does it does raise the uh it does raise the weird heroism bar as well. Well dang, I can't go back. Eh, it shouldn't matter that much. He wasn't sure of the reason, but his gut was telling him to take another leap of faith. Go down? Probably go down. Looks like there's a fair bit hanging out here. No! Well, it's okay. Falling damage does not apply to old men, apparently. An ambush. It was time to fight again. Oh, those are... Those are some nice combos. Admittedly, hitting the enemies actually is proving to be a bit of an issue. Okay. They like to just kind of smack you from behind. Mean business. I'm liking the temple design, though. I, it it lacks the... I want to say the mechanical complexity of, say, Legend of Zelda. But already, like, I'm, I'm just kind of enjoying the adventure of wandering around here and looking at things and, and like, fighting stuff. I'm on the wrong side of this chest. Wrong side of the law. <sighs> Galen felt much better now. We're almost to the point where we filled out that yellow meter. Whatever, for whatever reason that I'm doing it. I wonder if it's a level up. It'd be kind of cool if, if I could. Smack it with a shield. Uh, smack what exactly? I don't see anything that looks immediately smackable. But yeah, yellow cage is an EXP for the shield to level up? I can see that. Okay, did we have anything down there? Oh, smacking the, the chest with the shield is funny. Oh, have you actually seen this before? Because I will start doing so if it actually does something. Oh, how I open it. Oh! I was not even paying attention. I was it assuming was we were just trap. hitting it with our fists like previously.
I do hope we fight more things than just ghosts, though. <laughs> then again, there's something really amusing about just bullying ghosts into non-existence. Get out of here, you damn ghost now. Yep, I leveled up. Your power has increased. I wonder if that just means I do more damage. Okay, so Collectathon has a very tangible benefit here. I'm curious exactly what what it affects. Oh, hi. I haven't found any relics yet. At that moment, Gallant couldn't do that. <laughs> Can't open up part of my menus, apparently. So, instead of being one of those where it's like you're judged for getting 100%, it's just collectathoning everything just gives you a tangible benefit of leveling. That's not bad. I like that. And yeah, I love the fact that the shield is a weapon as well. It... It's... It's fun. Yeah, where's your raccoon girl? I mean, these are the later years. Or this is the off-brand shield hero from one of the other times. When they didn't need the other three schmucks. They just needed the one old man to do it for them. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed that we couldn't, uh... That the character started as a young man anyway. Like, I... Part of the reason why I was kind of drawn to this game was I was under the impression that it was just like a game about an old dude going on an adventure for funsies. Uh, and nothing more. And like, you know, takes away a little bit of the character impact if he's... Wait. God damn it, did I miss a bunch of runestones? I did. How? How did I do that? Please don't crush me. I guess it, that's how I did, how I missed them. They're back the other way. Sneaky game. Oh, okay. How did that not hit me, honestly? On the topic of Shield Hero, I would love it if they actually made like a proper action RPG or something out of it. The the shield like leveling and customization system in that seemed really fun. If they could properly make, like, a, a game based on it. Or something that uses the mechanics. Like, I'd, I'd almost prefer a Shield Hero game that doesn't involve any of the Shield Hero characters. Um, and just uses the setting, some of the events, um, and you're, like, a different Shield Hero. So it's not, like, constrained to the plots or anything like that. Just because I can see the plot getting real boring. As anything else. Ooh! A white chest. That might be something fancy. Oh, Gallen had found a relic. Hi. The temple is falling into disrepair. The temple is falling into disrepair. The visitors from the old days don't come anymore. It can be explained by the emergence of new false gods and and the 800 years without demons. The demons are still there, albeit hidden. And when one day we need the help of the elder protectors, who will aid us? I can, can't see any way out, and I'm running out of time. As the last master of the temple, I must fulfill my duty of protecting them. I'll travel around the cities. I'll just... Try to build shrines in each one of them. I, I can do it. I just need some more time. Yeah, more than the leveling stuff, your weapon itself having a skill tree is amazing. Yeah. Uh, there was... Was it Muramasa the Demon Blade? I want to say is the game. It's uh, made by the same people that made Odin Sphere, if I recall, cor recall correctly. Sweet. Um, but the people that made Muramasa the Demon Blade uh, very specifically had, like... Your weapon didn't exactly Alan level felt an urge up. Within him. Your weapon didn't exactly level up, but it was close. And it felt pretty good. I know I have pots down there, but I don't think I'm going to go for them. I, I like the hidden treasure. This, this feels good so far. Is there anything else that I've, like, immediately missed or should go back for? Not overwhelming yet, yeah, son of a butt. I see it too. Um, but like, I don't, I don't know. I I like the idea of 
of games where your weapons level up alongside you and even have like their kind of own different trees and customization. So, you know, you might be like a, an archer, an but you can customize it so your bow fires multiple arrows or multiple homing arrows or, or explosions at the end of it and so on and so forth. I don't know. I, there's a lot of things that you, you could do with like a, a, a leveling weapon system. I've never really seen games do that, which always makes me sad. Like, I love to play, like, um, a game like Path of Exile, but your weapons, instead of being a loot treadmill, your weapons just level us alongside you. As a... As, like, an alternate customization thing. And maybe, maybe treat it closer to, like, Darksiders treats it, where you only have, like, three or four weapons. But each one of them has quite a different, uh, quite a large number of different builds that you can go for. Secret of Mana did something similar. I don't remember Secret of Mana as being that exciting, though. Your sword would level up, yes. Galen felt an urge within him. But it, all it did was really affect, like, how hard you could charge different abilities and stuff. It wasn't as cool. Which is a shame. Uh, let's see, when are you going to be doing Hollow Knight Silk Song? Obviously. Why do you even need to ask? I I realize that's a maybe a bit rude to say, but like, I have two series on Hollow Knight. I I am the guy that barely has enough time to play every game that he wants to play, and I've gone out of my way to go back and fit uh, play Hollow Knight twice on my channel. Admittedly, one was with mods, but like the other protectors were testing Gallant. He had to think fast. I don't know. It's like asking me whether or not I'm going to play, like, Dragon Quest Builders next month. It's like, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Uh, unless my hands fall off, I'm pretty much not going to ass on that game. Galen needed a moment to start thinking straight. Galen doesn't care. Galen's here to grab the rune stones and stuff. Let's see, I think there was something under, under the stairs. These stairs? Really? Or the other stairs? If you mean the other stairs in the other room, I already grabbed it. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, yeah, how are my stairs gonna ha handle it? Uh, don't know. Yes, the map was lighting up. I mean, realistically, my hands have actually been doing considerably better lately. Like, the only reason why I was having hand issues was because probably World of Warcraft and bad posture. Nowadays, it's... it's. I don't think I've had a day where I've like had really crippling hand issues for quite some time. Which is really nice. There we go. And I might run into them here and there. Yes, but especially once I get my couch up here, it's going to be so much better. The door his first try. Why would I lie to you? Let's see. Ooh. That looks like a world I want to explore. Anything sneaky or devious hanging out on the outside of this? The answer is no. At that moment, a supernatural force compelled him to lift his shield. <laughs> that was such a, like, half-assed lift. He's just like, well... Our hero had managed to escape from the temple. Now the red plains of Obada lay ahead. It was an ambush. Melira was summoning her demonic minions with a devilish cackle. Where are you headed, Grandpa? Whatever those old statues told you, it's a lie. Now you'll find that the end of your adventure is close. <laughs> Oh, it's not ghosts. We're the best. You may try and spin to win, but it doesn't mean anything. Well, they would certainly destroy him if given the chance. 
Okay, so I don't do a whole lot of damage here. I'm doing kind of okay. Okay, so they've got ranged attacks. Okay, kind of working. Else doing okay. Wait, do I? No, no, I don't regenerate health over time. There we go. Up. This isn't over yet. Malira had fled, but the floor was still crumbling away. In that moment, time stood still. Garland needed a miracle. Then he realized. Perhaps the shield would protect him from the fall just as it did before. Runestone knew what had to be done. It could feel the needs of Gallant. When it felt Gallant's feet upon it, it let its magic flow. And he succeeded! Gallant had survived the fall and was already surfing the red plains of Oblana. Gallant had heard rumors about this place. It was a cursed region inhabited by the greatest of evils, and crawling with an assortment of wicked creatures. Runestone seemed to speed up when passing over the sources of power, and the more he overflew, the faster he went. Okay, this is charming. I think my only disappointment is I can't do kickflips, but I can go sh crazy fast for some reason. Also, these cutscenes are... I think the cutscenes are the weakest part of this game. It's very charming, and I'm enjoying being super speed grandpa over the red plains of Seussville. Holy shit. This is goofy. I don't know if I gain a benefit from going hella fast, but sure, why not? <laughs> An old fortified city that once thrived on the production of corn. Now lay a bed. Okay, this is Perhaps good. Invading. This is going to be one of those games I play more than one episode for, for sure. I've gotta. It's it's got it's got too much charm. The cutscenes suck, and like this narration is a little weird. How did that not kill me? I have no idea. Anyway, this is a fun game. I like it. It doesn't really take itself too seriously and doesn't need to. And it just packs in the charm instead. I really like this. It's a letdown. There's a huge red boring land filled with nothing. Oh, that's just room for me to run around. There's temples all over the place for me to check out. I don't know. I like this. Yeah, I, w I wish there was more animations. I wish it was a little bit, like, better. Oh, I'd like to go for that. Uh, but I'm gonna have to put it to sleep because I gotta go. But this is a charming game, and I'm enjoying it thoroughly so far. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.